What is up? Hi. Have you been wanting to take your content to the next level? Well, green screens are a great way to do that. Today I'm going to show you how you can make the best green screen effect humanly possible in Premiere Pro. Let's go over what you're going to need. Great, so now that you've spent all your money on equipment and software, let's actually put it to use. Step 1. Set up your green screen. Setting up your green screen is totally dependent on what kind of screen you have and the space that you can work with. Generally, I'd suggest setting up somewhere either with a big light source or no light at all. This really depends on whether you have lights. I fucking hate lights. Luckily for me, I can film in this big ass warehouse, but even still, I find this really difficult to do. Getting an evenly lit background like on a professional movie set just ain't gonna happen. So wake up, Finn. These people need to see the reality. Get the hell out of bed, you goddamn idiot. So basically, just try your best with lights. I mean, you might not get good results, but we're here to fix that for you. If you want to follow my lighting setup, come with me if you want to live. Then I literally just have two lights on the green screen and one on me. Toilet break! Who says that YouTubing isn't physically demanding? Just make sure that you take a break every now and again and relieve yourself of your game of fuel or game of boy pee, whatever, whatever you people drink. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Step three, filming. Now filming is the easy part. And when doing it, I recommend wearing something that isn't green. Just wear something that's gonna contrast with the background nicely. Maybe a darker color. Nice. Now you just gotta hit record and start doing whatever it is you need doing. I don't, I don't know what to do with the green screen. Step four, keying. Here is the final step, which is gonna turn your messy, raw footage into a piece worthy of art museums. Oh, oh it's gonna be so good. <laughs> so let's go through it. <clears throat> so get your footage into Premiere and whack a mask on that thing straight away. So just click the pen tool over here and then trace around your subject. We basically want to get any background out of the picture. Now that we've done this, we head over into the color panel and go down to HSL secondary. Now this might look scary to you, but I'm going to hold your hand and take you through it. It's really easy. So with this eyedrop tool, you should pick a part of the green screen, any part, and then just increase this variable here, and then you'll see that it starts to brighten up that color that you picked. That's it. That's the... Now you've got to hit the eyedropper with the plus symbol on it. With this, you just hover over the parts of the green screen that haven't been affected by the color change, and then click. You'll see that it adds that specific shade of green to the color change we just applied. A really quick way to do this is actually just to click and hold while you go around the green. Now, this may get some of your skin tones while you do it. And if it does, just select the eyedropper with the minus on it and do the same thing, but on your subject. This should clean up most of the spillage. So just be warned, this isn't gonna be 100% perfect most of the time, but let me tell you, this is the best technique out there. It gets my seal of approval. So now you just gotta change these variables so that the green that we've selected is even more green. Is that possible? I'll put up my settings as a guideline for you. You can just pause and copy them into your Premiere. It's quite easy. But basically, the more bright neon green we can get, the better. The final thing we gotta do is just smack that ultra key effect on there, select the green color with the eyedropper tool, and change the preset mode to aggressive. Right now, you should have a very clean looking green screen. For extra cleanliness, I go into the ultra key effect and apply a bit of choke and a bit of softness to make the image blend better with the background. Okay. Here's some extra tips. One thing you can do is add a drop shadow onto your green screen, which if you're doing commentary style stuff or a face cam in the corner, it's really good. You can also color grade your green screen subject separately without affecting the keying, just here by adding a new Lumetri color effect here. Then you can just grade to your heart's content without affecting the green screen. I really hope that today I've given you guys some tools to help you create better content. Or maybe I've given you confidence in that you don't need a Hollywood green screen to do really cool things. Like I know that this is a big green screen and I'm in a warehouse, like this is pretty sweet. But my god, like this lighting setup is disgusting. It, <coughs> this video isn't sponsored, but I really do suggest that you actually buy Premiere Pro rather than cracking it. Just because I know that some of you are gonna become a lot bigger as content creators. I'd hate for it to come back and bite you in the ass while you're really getting ahead of the game. So invest now if you can. And I suggest that you use the link in my description, which tells Adobe that you've come from me to get their product 
and then they give me a little bit of the juice. The juice. I mean, whoa, look at all this money, guys. I'm really, I'm rolling in it right now. I'm really rolling in it. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go spend all this dollar dollar on some private jets and going to Hollywood and having parties with my really famous friends. <laughs> Subscribe, and I'll see you around. I'm out of here.